Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, we're excited because we just got the EcoFlow 400 watt solar panel. This is a folding portable solar panel. 400 watts, can't believe it. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and crack it open, show you what's in the box, take a close look, and then we're going to go ahead and test it with the EcoFlow Delta Pro. All right, this thing is a beast. All right, we're gonna pull it out and test it. So why don't we get started? Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. So a lot of people are interested in what comes in the box. How is it packed? Will it survive? Look at these guys. I mean, EcoFlow, the one thing, and, and you know, and, and I'll tell you now, EcoFlow sent me this, okay? So this is sponsored. It is sponsored. But again, I'm always honest. I would rather be honest than make a buck or two extra because this video will live on YouTube and it's our reputation. But look at these guys. I mean, a box inside of a box, right? So we're going to open this up even more, but... You just got to see the, look at this, look at the packaging that they do. All right, so as you open the box up, don't throw this out. Okay, these are your clamps that you will be able to use. It's another way to put this panel in a certain direction. So, but look at the you know the bag right again 400 watt panel we're going to take this out and show you a close look also padding on the bottom we didn't even take it out yet padding on the bottom i'm probably going to keep this and recycle this that's pretty cool all right well look at that as usual the bag that they use a nice quality bag and uh definitely reinforced very well to hold this panel up you know you get nice handles with cushion you know, if you're just taking this, that's really nice. And then you get the short handles also. And the Ecofo uh, logo right there. And again, these we'll show you later on how you could use these if you want to. So we take a close look at the zipper. And, I mean, this is a weather-rated zipper. I mean, I, maybe it's not rated, but it really, you know, if you were running around, all of a sudden it started to drizzle, you might be okay. Um, the panels have weather rating, and we'll put that up right here in a moment and then we'll you know talk about that more later but we'll put that up right there but yeah let's uh crack this open all right i'm just going to unzipper the bag and we are zoomed out as we can be all right now the bag is used as a stand also and that's where those you know these guys come in these clamps come in okay so we're going to go ahead and unzip this all the way around. All right, this side doesn't unzip because it becomes kind of the stiff foundation to hold the solar panel. Now here's your main connector with your MC4 cables. So when you pull this out, again, really good packaging, right? They're protecting everything, knowing that this is shipping across the world. But you got your MC4 cables there. Looks like they're a little longer, which is nice. Let's go ahead and just open this up before we set it up outside uh, in the sun, I should say. And you can see here, again, they put some cushion, which I would keep, to be honest with you. I mean, if you're folding this up, you don't need to. But, uh, you know, if you're going to fold this up and put this somewhere, why not keep this? Again, I don't even think this can be recycled. So you can see how big that is, by the way, okay? And we're going to show you uh, how to set it up in a moment. All right, so I put these clips on one up here and one here and then I, I basically put the rest of them on the bottom 
You need the stiff part up in the air. That's going to be the uh, strength to hold up the panel. One thing I really like about the Delta Pro is it's got a handle because it's about 100 pounds, right? So when you need to move this around, this handle is going to really, really help you big time. Big, big, big time. So love, love this handle. And easy, gets put away, locks into place. So in this diagram, we're showing you how to connect panels in series. We are going to initially do a test with one panel, and then we're going to show you that we did a test with two panels. But when you connect in series, all you're doing is connecting one panel to the other using the positive and negative and then your, your remaining positive and negative get connected to your device. In this case, the Delta Pro. All right, so hopefully this diagram helps you. What's most important when you're connecting in series is that you're staying within the voltage. Now the Delta Pro can handle up to 150 volts of solar input. These 400 watt panels are 48 volts. So as you can see, in our second test that we're going to show you, we're going to be using two, which will equal 96 volts. We could easily add a third and stay within range, but we're going to do two. We're going to start off with one, and then we're going to go ahead and do two. Again, we hope this information is helpful. Hey guys, if you're really enjoying this video, take a moment, give us a thumbs up. Brooklyn and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to take a moment and go slow to show you how this gets set up. It's really not that hard, but the back end needs to be the hard part, okay? And we've got our clamps here, so they're ready to go, all right? And uh, they're angled, and the soft part goes on the bottom, all right? All right, so there is the panel set up. Now, you can angle the panel. Okay, so if you're going to angle the panel, you're going to pull the panel down and depending on how far, you might want to put the clamps in on the bottom of the panel. You know, so depending on the sun's direction. And you'll see here on the side, you know, how the back, the stiff back holds up the panel. All right, and the clamps simply go in this way. So it's a pretty decent system. Now. Later on in the video, we're going to show you, because you can see here that there's a lot of weight on these panels, right? And so the panel won't be, you know, completely straight. We're going to show you later on how we took an idea and made the panel straighter, which is going to actually improve the performance. Now you can see we pulled the panel down to angle it even more. Okay, so again, you know, you adjust it. Obviously, we didn't pull it out all the way, but again, you know, as you can see, the angle is now different. So, you know, not too hard to set up. A little heavy, a little awkward. I did it on my own. I couldn't do it on camera, but definitely a nice panel. I picked the windiest day to do this test, but it's cold. We're going to plug this in to the uh, EcoFlow Delta Pro. I'm going to angle it the best I can. So we took a fence post. As you can see, these are just wooden fence posts. You can get these at like Home Depot and Lowe's. We took it and we cut it in half. We said, all right, you know what? We're going to use one for each solar panel. And then we made our markings for where we want our holes. All right. And uh, yeah, we'll keep on showing you what we did. All right, guys. So this is the finished product. And let me tell you, having something solid on the top really makes a difference. Now, I'm going to give someone credit. Steve sent me a message and so I want to give this guy on Facebook some credit. I'm going to put his name up, but uh, they showed a metal rod with some screws to make this thing as straight as possible so you can really get the most out of it. 
400 watts, right? So, as you can see here, we've got a screw. We showed you the board earlier, and in the back, all we've got is a butterfly screw. We can take these off easily. It's one solid piece. It isn't the most solid piece of wood, so it's got some flexibility in it. It's light, but we're still using the EcoFlow, you know, uh, cover as a stand. So thank you to the guy on Facebook. We'll put his name up again real quick. Great idea. We just wanted to share that also. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and just check uh, amperage and see what amps, what amperage we're getting. It's windy, guys, but that's how we do it out here. 7.78 amps. There you go. I mean, 7. Point, almost 7.8 amps, practically. 7.74. We're getting 48 4 volts out of this one panel. Wow. 48.4 volts is what we're getting on the test. All right. Pretty simple. All you do is uh, you're going to plug this in to the XT60, which is down here. I'm just going to plug this in. All right. All right. That's in there. I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the cables. They're plugged in. Let's come around and see what type of wattage we get with this panel <laughs> and then we can play with the angle so we're getting you know 200 and change already and we haven't even played with the angle a little bit again it's windy but I'm gonna adjust the angle and come back and see if we can get more the one thing I want to show you too is we use Progresso soup specifically chicken noodle to tell us if our panel is Really in the best angle now. We're almost perfect I'm gonna tell you now and you have to check all four of these by the way because they flex so let's put this in the middle and I want you to see I can't really move my shadow, but honestly, there's the top, bottom, left, and right shadow really almost doesn't exist, which is important. So let me see. There you go. So that, when, when, you, when you really don't get a shadow, you know you've got your best angle, all right? So look at that. So that's really good. Now, you do that on all four of these, and we've got the ultimate setup here. For the 400 watts so we're seeing as high as 340 at times I mean that's really not bad at all for a 400 watt panel all right so here's another example with two 400 watt EcoFlow solar panels connected to the Delta Pro now as you can see they're nice and straight we use that wood with those screws all right, what we're going to do is we're going to go over and just quickly connect the panels. We are connected in series, by the way. So let's go ahead and connect those real quick and see what we get. All right, let's tilt this up and watch the screen for a moment. And there she goes. She's starting up. And we've got 200, 300, 400, 600, 637, 647. So as high as 647 watts, averaging around 645 watts for two 400 watt panels. Not bad at all. 645 watts. All right, let's take a look real quick at the setup. I just want to show you a little closer angles of how it gets held up as far as the panel is concerned. As you could see there, you know, these cases do a pretty darn good job. And let me show you some other things as well. 
you know, when it comes to the wood that we used and, you know, the bolts and stuff. So as you could see, we basically left the screws out a little further in the middle so we could actually just take these clamps and just throw them on it right there and it holds them up really, really nice, which is good. See on the other side as well. So it does a really good job. And uh, the panels definitely are a lot straighter, as you can see. So just an idea. And we didn't put screws on the ends. We just did it in, in four holes. And uh, we're pretty happy. Really nice and straight. So just wanted to share that with you. And there it goes. You know, on the left side, it's all opened up and set up. And on the right side, you got a nice carry case. I've got my piece of wood with my four screws in it. Not only does it have a nice handle on top, but it actually has, if you want to throw something off your shoulders, you got it too. So they give you two sets of handles. Nice bag. And that's it. Next option is the solar tracker. Now this is super cool. So what I like about this one is it also works with regular panels as well, not just the EcoFlow panels. But as you can see here, that's a 400 watt panel on there. And the tracker will move based off where the sun is, which is phenomenal. So you don't have to adjust your panel. This is nice. Here are the specs for the 400 watt panel, the price, everything. If you want, hit pause if you want to review this. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.